Hello guys and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. So let's uh, go into chapter, or ep I'm sorry, episode 2 and uh, see what happens. I'm just excited to get going. Mr. Toad? Do something, Bigby. Wow, so we're recapping, Bigby yes. Completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope. Haven't seen her. Come with me. Such a distinct art style to this. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and the... Uh, they're gonna string me up, Big B. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. Ah! You said you wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. This fucking lab dog. He comes sniffing around this part of the world where the rich fucks and the women's need a shake down. Yeah, he's a looker. <laughs> now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, well they're gonna get worse. worse. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. All right, let's see what happens now. I guess just straight up interrogation. At least to start with. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I need to find the killer. I'll be better when I find who did this. Which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Bigby. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. The smoke. None of the answers seem particularly great, actually. That's very helpful. Thank you. So Are you okay? Yeah. You don't look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh yeah. I know. I, I just said that. Is there something What do the other two policemen behind the glass think? I'm sorry. Just make it stop. 
please. So it's affecting everyone apart from us. <laughs> well, I must say, I was not expecting this. <laughs> we have to go now. What did you do? What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Okay. Check. Maybe take the photo. I mean, I'm sure that they have other documents and copies, but I don't know. <laughs> so now we go talk to the wood woodsman finally. <coughs> the woodsman chained up to a post last night. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks to you, there's been at least some hope in this whole dreadful affair. I'm confident he has some information about the slayings. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. And he's already to the point of confession. He was involved, definitely. That much we can tell from his babbling just must have had some sort of accomplice. Just wanted to him hear him speak to. I've got questions for him. Well, we all do. I'm just wondering who Bluebeard is. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, he actually looks a little sad. One of us dies, and now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah. I guess be supportive. Hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. I'm also called life. <laughs> Did she um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. So he wasn't very happy with that. Say, Big B. We have to have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. Well, that was a little uncalled for. But I guess showing frustration. I met a maid who asked my trade, and a sailor John said I. And away, you Santi, my dear and need. Oh, you New York girls, can't you dance the polka? Look sharp, Woodsman. You have visitors. Why is he singing? Some sort of pathetic defensive mechanism. Never mind that, though. He will tell us eventually who killed Snow White. I have too many methods to inspire him. Bluebeard, I told you not to touch him until we returned. 
I didn't. Well, barely. And yet you saw fit to retrieve It's a... hardly been used. Yet. Hello, Sheriff. Come to help? Because I think I have a secure handle on things. The Just sheriff take is quiet. here to carry out the rest of the interrogation. Oh, really? Let me tell the story. I can tell it all. About the mountain boy who ran illegal alcohol. Uh, Woody. That you, Bigby? I didn't kill that girl, Wolf. And I don't have a thing to tell you, so get me the fuck out of these straps. Save your energy. You'll need it later. We're gonna, all right? But we have to have a little chat first. Snow White is dead. I'll tell you what I already told this blue dandy. I didn't kill anybody. I, I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Look, I got questions and I know you have answers. Whether or not they're the answers I want, well, I guess we'll find out. <sighs> Whenever you're ready, Sheriff. Well, what about the alibis? Well, why did you run? Yeah. Back at the bar, why'd you run? Look, I got nothing to say, so just, just let me go. Please, just let me go. Do you see now what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this? I'll take care of it. What are you planning to do, exactly? Talk to him. Don't forget what we talked about. What did you tell him? We must do whatever it takes to find the killer. Yes. I just want to talk. See what he knows. Oh, give me a break. We need answers, Bigby. Though it's ultimately up to you, of course. I just don't want them to step away, because I feel he's going to be more honest. This whole thing sucks. A bunch talk, show photo. I want to talk first. Speak. Why did you run at the bar? Well, this is useless. Just uh, completely useless. There's just no reason for any of it. Then I guess show uh, show the photo. What's that? You want to know what this is? Oh shit! No, 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 no! Take a good fucking look. Take a good, long look. Etch it into your fucking memory. I told you, I have no goddamn clue about what's going on. I didn't have nothing to do with it. You want to tell me why you ran now? I don't know what to tell you. I ran because I didn't want trouble. I didn't kill that girl. I have no damn clue what's going on. You told me he was at the point of confession. He was. He is. He said Snow wasn't even supposed to be there. Now what do you exactly take that for? He knows what's happening. All right, that's something. Did you say that, Woody? Where are you talking about? Where was she supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? She was... nothing. Nothing was supposed to happen. It's my own shit, all right? It's not anymore. Forget it. Where's... where's my stuff? I want to smoke you. You took my smokes. We, uh, confiscated his belongings. For the time being. This was all we could find on him in any case. Nothing exceptional to speak of. Much like the man himself, I'd say. Can you two just step away? Alright. Uh, so some boos. Going in circles. He's getting somewhere. Just give him what he wants, you know. Put him in a better, more talkative mood. Well, that was not what I was intended, but... This is really... What's the point of this? <coughs> Thanks. 
Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? Let me handle this. Yeah, just step out. Tell me what you meant by Snow wasn't supposed to be there. You've got it all wrong. I, I can't. Just leave it alone. I don't want to talk about it. Just a waste of fucking time. We'll see if it's a waste of time. After you tell us what you know. I didn't... I didn't say Snow, okay? I never said that. Yes, you did. She wasn't supposed to even be there. She, that's it. Not Snow. I, I don't know fucking anything about Snow. Okay, that's something. You weren't talking about Snow, but who did you mean? Who exactly. wasn't supposed to Faith? be there? I... I can't get into it. You have to. I have... I have to take a... Hmm, not sure if we should like go with the I understand kind of rule. Um, so who are we talking about? I feel like we need to give him something else. Who are you talking about, huh? Who? That was my own fault. But it's not about the killings, it's not. Then still, tell us. Who wasn't supposed to be there? Who are you talking about? Woodsman, you've got to talk to me. Because Crane and Bluebeard, they think you're shit. But you think I don't know what that feels like? To be the bad guy? To know you're just trying your fucking best and to still get shit on day and night? Yeah, I know you do, Wolf. I don't believe this. Back off, Bluebeard. This isn't your job. Get your answers. Or I'm taking over. Not gonna happen. Woody? Who wasn't supposed to be there? A girl. Which girl? And where? I can't. Just... Just let me go. Where was this girl supposed to be? What was supposed to happen? The girl. It was... Faith. All right? Faith. Faith? This is about her? I was expecting someone else, and this girl I didn't even know shows up. Who were you expecting? I, uh, I don't know. Talk! Now! No one's behind anything. This, I can't get into it. It's my own personal shit, so fuck off. What did you want to happen? Who was supposed to show up? Help me help you, Woody. Let me get you out of here. I'm getting pretty sleepy, Sheriff. Looks like your good cup game is played out. You better no, us. still gonna keep trying. Just help us. I tell you something, if there was something to tell. Come on, Big B. You have other options. Use them. It's obvious he's not giving anything up this way. Loosen these, will ya? I ain't going We're there. three against one, so. Come on, man. They're cutting off circulation. <sighs> Who were you expecting? Lily. Lily? Who's Lily? Lily is Holly's sister. Holly? The bartender? From the Trip Trap? Her sister's? Yeah. Her sister's a prostitute. I was a regular of hers, okay? I paid, she did her thing, and that was it. When Faith came to the door, it just set me off. Lily usually conked me if I didn't have cash. Faith didn't want to give me a break. Just please, don't don't tell anyone, Big B. Grin and her, that whole bar, they just, they wouldn't understand. Yeah, there's no reason to tell anyone. Well, congratulations, Sheriff. We've been here for God knows how long, and what do we have to show for it? A thorough retelling of the woodsman's sexual misadventures. This barbarian knows more than he's letting on. 
can't continue to treat him like some stupid American waif. I really think it's going the best that it can. Then you have no imagination, I'm sorry to say. Because my best is a whole lot better than this. Oh, now you turn on the channel. I clicked too late. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! Snow White is dead. She was one of us, not one of them. I don't need to necessarily keep fighting, though. Okay, well, I guess we are. Snow. I was thinking that looks like her. What? Snow. Twin sister? <laughs> that is, um... How? <laughs> That's all I'm wondering. How? How does that happen? She regenerated her head? Or what? Twin sister? There was someone who made was made to look like her. I I don't get it, <laughs> but I guess we'll learn learn soon enough, right? So then, what faith is the one and only murder? Smoke and mirrors. Okay. Well, it's an interesting opening, let's say. <laughs> He's still sleeping. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I Wasn't didn't me? lay a hand on him. I wanted to do things the right way, but Bluebeard had other ideas. I tried to stop him, Snow. Yeah. Yeah, where have you been? You've been all night, Snow. I was working on this case. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. If it's not Faith's body. I mean, I didn't really have anything to say about that. <laughs> Snow? What is it? Glad you're uh, not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I, I still don't understand. Like... What is it? I just. I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. That can't be a coincidence. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? Must be. So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. Yeah, we, we keep working together. Our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? Because that's what my job is right now. That's not what I meant. Okay, no, we work together. What did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. 
I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. I guess we uh, in the elevator should have picked the other option of. I'm sorry. Glad you got things I worked know it's out. dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know. I can handle the kid. Okay. I've been nice. <laughs> TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. I guess we see the body first, right? Pity these can't solve murders. Antacids? And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Perfume. Guess that makes sense. It's good to, you know, have a smell around. The way that's hers, yeah. Snow's perfume. Leia Loa. <laughs> Snow and Buffkin. Book of Fables. I guess we go here to see the body? I don't know. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. See the body for most information. Then talk to them, right? At least in my mind that makes more sense. Interesting location. Yeah, can't go further away. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. This is weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive, but just do what you need to do. Okay, let's examine every detail we can find. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Okay, so that's very important. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. Looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Okay. We can... She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Yeah. 
So even more. Could be a bruise. Yeah. Holding something? Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. In the pry open, I guess? W what are you doing? Only way to find out. Okay, let's, uh. Yeah, it's definitely Jesus, something. Bigby. What is it? Specific flower? Flowers. Yeah. Lily petals. Track marks. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not yeah. technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. So go... Okay, let's... You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... But it's one specific outfit, you know, like... What? Snow, do you mind if I uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. That's good to have asked. Are you still okay? You can ask her to step away. She doesn't feel up to it. Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? Not finished. I haven't finished yet. I will well, report get after. Get on with it then. We can't waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. We should keep going. Are you wearing silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. Check what's in the pocket. Use this. What That's is that? funny. She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So someone gave her instructions. Yeah, seemingly. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? Not sure if I was in time. No, I guess it defaults to quiet. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Well, at the top. <laughs> Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. I don't have a mouse cursor. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay, create a horsey image.
or puppy or deer a deer what does that mean oh a bit of her hair and dna is that it's your hair And a photograph. As a base. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? So I, I should have looked at... Trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? With that tattoo, it's gotta be Holly's sister, Lily. Should have looked at the ankle mark before. You're right. She was reported missing, but I, I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. Do you want to talk to TJ first? I guess. Yeah, I do. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. We'll fill you in later. Good, good. Well, at least we still know we didn't observe the angle oh, mark, but no. we saw it. Excuse me a minute. Okay. Uh, let's go talk to them. Oh, that's enough. Hey, Amira, vanish! Cancel! Oh, no. What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. Right, Big B? What were you doing with the mirror, Toad? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. I was just having a laugh. We've been waiting here a long time. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Cool t-shirt he's wearing. Didn't notice the flying ship before <laughs> in the background. It's okay. This won't take long. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're okay. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. <laughs> noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. Just be nice. <laughs> Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady... fell in. But... But she didn't have her head on. I thought, I thought she was going to pull me down too. <laughs> Wait, so she fell down? Because she had rocks on her feet. So she was dumped. She kept falling down in the dark parts. 
Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, part of my job is being able to tell when people are lying. I'm really good at it. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. It's dangerous out there. If someone saw you... You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. <laughs> so you didn't stay underwater. And then? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. <laughs> they said... They said... Stop laughing... at me. <laughs> hmm. Was it a man or a female? Do you know whose voice it was? No! <laughs> Sheriff... Did you see who it was? No! And that's probably all we're gonna get out of him. He's frightened. Did you hear anyone laughing? I don't know! I don't know! Okay, that's I'm enough. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise! I want to go home. I think okay. he's been good. You can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. Like, he's honest. I think he did well. Might as well, you know, point that out. Get people to trust him. That went about as well as I expected. Everything okay? <clears throat> we should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not going to stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Okay, well. This might backfire, but I guess we'll see. So we go over to Holly. This whole thing is complete bullshit. And always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... I'm back. <laughs> Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Okay, okay, I know. Just relax. I'm not here to start anything. Okay. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It, it really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? I'm not sure who he is supposed to be. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. About you. Just stay quiet. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? 
Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. That true, love? Yes. It's true. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman, who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... Jack, find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. Stay I don't quiet. care which. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. No need to throw Actually, him out. Have there been any updates? On my sister. I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Really should not tell that in front of other people, too. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. Like, take her alone, try and talk oh, to her. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. I mean, that sounds suspicious. <laughs> we recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare. And very old. That was decent of you. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? We could have berated Snow, because evidence, but... We don't have such strict rules here, do we? <laughs> Not really. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just... I didn't want to watch it with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. Okay, the well, it's Georgie good to know. With all this fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really.
Holly, it, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. So who's Georgie? Hmm. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there um is there anything we can do to No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of, it, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or, I don't know, some old world shit will fuck your soul up. I'll check with the deputy mayor about that. He'd want to be kept in the loop. This is really important to me. Look. Why don't you come down with me to the business office, and we'll see what we can do. So it seems that Snow will actually club? take care I'll of go that. Go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, hmm. thanks. It just made everything easier. Yeah, see, we're not so bad. <laughs> you are the good wolf. Of sorts. So, oh, new location. What a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty, but the club's closed. Should have just mentioned Georgie. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. Is he, uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. How can you have discretion then? <laughs> Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Your imagination is the menu, and discretion is our guarantee. Did you know Lily? She worked here? Oh, my lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. You fucking dozy bitch. I can take it from here. Well, I have to. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? You're supposed to turn the clients on. That's your job. Oh, oh, so I supposedly walked up to him. Closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. 
for fuck's sake! You! Stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. I got a few questions. Let's be straight to the point. Imagine my excitement. Dollar sign tattoo what on do you your want, then? face is not a good. Taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight maybe. I can hook you up. Or uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me. Do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I can arrange whatever you like, for the right price. Just quiet. None of that, George, yeah. I'd rather just strike a macho pose for a moment. Jesus, Bigby, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Well, do you? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No, I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's their own business. Is this some great strategy to get me to incriminate myself? Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> this is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. Well, I'm just looking for information. I'm and we're not throwing... all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You You've should got know. this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on then! Turn it off, please. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead! That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? Information, please. Oh, no! Fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake. Of course, the extremely blonde guy is Hans. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills. And have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey! That's my personal property! Just tell me. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Well, Hans said that there is a book. Hey, now. Gimme.
I'm not going to break anything. Crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused again. No. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Yeah, what well, do you keep? Know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a keep big playing. bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. You're still not doing anything. Women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. So what, you really could have destroyed the, all, all these right, things? All right, all right. So he did actively lie. Bloody come on, then. Prick. But I didn't cause him. Once I didn't hurt him. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Okay, so. Here. There's this another book there, too. Entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh, dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. But 207. That's 207. Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients. Who's watching? Me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. I didn't destroy anything, so... Let's uh, walk Hello. over here, yes. Business office. I assume it's the girl. Cosmetics, notes... Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Well, that seems very related. With what the woodsman told me. So that's her copy, yeah. Only that's there, because we just put it there. been busted open yeah someone was stealing from it broken open but there isn't even a lock yeah so why this must be their stuff then but also we really should walk around the corner Steve because there's probably someone there compact glitter And Excuse who's there? I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Too late. So quiet. You're 
trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? Again, too late. Didn't really know what option I should go for, honestly. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Two or seven? Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. By design. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. I don't know why we're asking or looking so angrily. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Yes. Okay. Because then she can, then she can say something. What would I need to do? I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. This isn't enough, but it's all I've got. Wait here for a second. I mean, she seems like she wants to help and say something. Not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. I hope she won't get into trouble because of that. But likely will, I guess. Just like clientele only. To who know, you know, where they go. Wonder how that plays out if you don't choose to do that. I think you're probably forced to, or she will tell you something anyway. Like it's very nearby, or something a soda machine if the rooms are anything like the lobby they should cut their rates <laughs> yeah I think we Keep should your just... pants on, buddy. You have to check in first if you want a room. I have a room. So come on, mosey on back, and we'll get you set up. I'm not here for a room. Oh, uh. You. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody. But Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. All of our friends live at the Woodlands. 
he'd be mortified. Well, your secret's safe with me, all right? Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. You're and doing work with you can. Thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Well, she's a troll. Hmm. <laughs> All these questions are actually relevant. Um, okay, have you seen Snow? Because that would have been, you know, has she used that specific glamour before? Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. So it has happened before, okay. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? There's probably That's half of them. Here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. That's just rude. Thanks. Don't just... It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Why is he just throwing cigarette butts on the floor? Like, Listen, that makes no baby, sense. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Seven. Also... She, Beauty, would know if someone's in there, right? I don't know what, why we're looking at the door. Open or knock? I guess... You have well, keys to these rooms. looks like blood on the handle. Had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Well, thank you. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, nope. no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure you help each other just great. I know what this place is. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- Oh, he'll throw us through the door? I finally see you for who 
who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and- Beast! He's gonna throw us through the door, right? That That's what I imagine is happening. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! I told you to stop! Look at you! This is how you handle things! I kinda also don't wanna punch him. I'm trying to explain! She's my wife, Bigby! I told you! I guess we'll Just mash this. Okay, we need to mash faster, apparently. Please! Leave him be! This is my fault! Please, no! I understand! I pressed W. Okay, apparently I didn't. <laughs> What? I didn't press it enough? It filled up, right? It did. I saw it. <laughs> okay, maybe you can't just... Okay, so it's in here. Is it like a timing thing that I'm just not getting? Okay. Well, that's just... I guess he needs to calm down a little. Bigby, Can we no, stop now? He's had enough, yeah. You ruined everything! She's my fucking wife! <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to hit him more. <laughs> Shit! What have you done? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You, you don't want to see this. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this- is this? Lily met her client here, Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby. What kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Yeah. I can't believe Cassette this. Cassette player. Compare lilies. Well, we know that they're going to match. Where yep. did you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. So a storybook. Ashtray. Bottle. Cassette. Okay, I guess we can listen to it. We shouldn't even be in here. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. <laughs> What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. 
Very uh, original German. Es war einmal, etc. <laughs> the whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. Well, that's the story. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Bad matches the coffin? No. Don't know. Just stay quiet. Whatever it is you don't want to tell me, I'm sure it's not good. No, I simply don't know. <laughs> Okay. Um, I think we already backed out. <laughs> God. That was weird. Okay. He brought wine. Classy. Okay. Guess let's look in the the closet. Yep. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, it's a little weird. No blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about. Yeah, snow. exactly. It's the snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. I yeah. guess he wanted to get the details right. God, role playing as a person who really exists, who we know. That's just weird. I'm not sure who to feel worse for. Okay, no, I take that back. <laughs> okay, so that's one piece of evidence. Or, you know, information. They Do went for the apple something? as well? No, just apple. With a bite. What? What are you thinking? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of yeah, and the other one is when she's makes dead. makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. I just don't have a very complete picture. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Photo? Or letter? So, what does it say? Are those pictures of the dead girl? Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer... Yeah. What is it? It's... <gasps> Crane. Uh, or someone who looks like Crane, but seemingly Crane. Wow, that's uh <laughs> didn't see that coming. Yeah, that's a good uh <laughs> He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. So we were kind to him. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. The guy's accent is so Obviously, funny. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. 
So Bluebeard takes over. Shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? Oh, so next one is going to be real action packed, is what it's uh, showing. Right, so let's see how we did. <laughs> So, okay. Most people were nice to Crane. So, most people got him to talk. So, I guess you can, like, what? You can not get him to talk? But if, like, if you. But I imagine if you take the violence route, you'll also get him to talk. So, you can also just fail at that? That's interesting. Or this is like if you don't do it well enough somehow. I didn't see a real clear way of failing this whole investigation. But okay. Uh, so almost everyone let Snow go. And most people actually were playing nice. Interesting. I figured most would just beat things up. Or didn't hit him. Okay, yeah. And most people are again trying to be trying to be nice. Ha, huh, everybody's uh Oh that's loud. Blimey, that's real loud. <laughs> Alright, so that was an interesting one, <laughs> I'm gonna say. Uh, started off in an interesting manner, because I really forgot about the fact that it could be a glamour. And then we find out who it is. Which is surprising. I figured it would just be, uh, you know, some person we're going to be f trying to find for a long time. But clearly it's going to take a much more direct approach with the storytelling. So now we know it's him and he's on the run, I assume, because he knows, you know. Oh, well, I mean, it shows that Blue Bluebeard is sitting on his desk, so clearly he's gone. I'm wondering who we're going to be fighting, though. Uh, I'm just wondering if like we end up finding Crane and then we end up fighting him to try and bring him in. I'm not sure. I guess, uh, well, one way to find out, right? <laughs> but uh, I must say, I'm, it's really nice and pleasant to just, it's kind of like uh, just a somewhat interactive, well, I mean, that's exactly what it is, somewhat interactive story that just gets shown. It's like watching a movie, but you can kind of pick it. It's pretty much like a visual novel, apart from it plays itself. <laughs> you don't need to keep clicking for each dialogue line. It's uh, it's really just fun and relaxing to uh, to play, I must say. So uh, pretty excellent. And I'm again very curious where this is going to go because so far it's been surprising, <laughs> definitely surprising. Having a lot of fun with this. And the art style again is uh, very distinct and it looks very good, I think. It doesn't need like super high fidelity anything. No, it's very stylized. It's great. All right. So, don't know why this screen is so dark. This is half crashing and loading, <laughs> seemingly. <laughs> All right. Well, next time, episode three. Hope you guys enjoyed that and see you guys next time. See you, dudes.